What's up guys, this is Zinkreis here. Welcome to Clash of Clans. Today we're looking at my current farming base. Um, nothing too fancy really. Uh, this is more of an introductory video. And a returning video I guess. Um, we're coming up on 9 months since my last video. Um, beyond this point here I was, I was thinking it would be leaving it a bit too long. Um, if it's not been too long already. Um, so I really wanted to just kind of get back into it before I completely lost it. The, the kind of point of this video is really to introduce a possible new series that I'll be doing. I'm hoping that we can get enough submissions to do this. I'm hoping to do a base testing series in that you guys, the viewers, send me in some videos or even screenshots, um, etc., of a base that you want me to test for you. I'll test this base and I'll rank it against the other bases, and each week, maybe fortnight, I'll, I'll rank these bases uh, from best to worst. Um, depending on how many submissions we get, we might just do the top five best to worst. Right, this base here. Um, pretty solid for the level. I'm just going to demonstrate to you another base. Now everyone knows the farming, everyone knows the defensive. Not many people know about these troll bases as such. Um, they're referred to as troll bases really because they trick people into kind of blowing themselves up or thinking that people can get loot. It looks almost like a gift of a base to someone who would have a look at this. These bits in here um, appear empty, so the person cannot tell. Um, obviously you'd have a reasonable suspicion that something's going to be there, but you cannot tell otherwise that there are bombs or traps uh, or Teslas there. The mortars cover most of the areas. The wizard towers would cover the remaining back area. We've got an expo that covers this section here up to this um, we've got the wizard towers here that cover a little bit the sides really they're just to stop people breaking in through the wall segments here and here and um, like this wizard tower to here the cannons um, all fire into this little area same with the archer towers they can all reach right into it the only ones that have a little bit of difficulty are these ones at the side, um, but they still get a number of the people anyway. Um, this kind of base is the kind of base you'd be looking at if you want to slingshot yourself. Um, and by slingshot I mean you're at maybe 1,600 trophies, maybe even lower, maybe what, you're maybe at the 1,000 or the 1,200 mark and you want to get yourself as high up as possible, as fast as possible. I've had, I think, 84 trophies just within 2-3 hours and all I had was maybe like 400,000 gold sitting in my things um, and I haven't lost any of them. So let's see, well I haven't lost, I'd l lost some of the battles but I hadn't lost much of the gold is what I was trying to say there. As you can see here, there's a lot of attacks that are just one and that usually happens because people test it and then realise that there's all these bombs and realise that all the defences can hit them and they go, actually, you know what, no. Um, you do, however, find some people go right out on it, like this one down here. He put a lot of crap into that and he got absolutely nothing out of it. There's a lot of hero-only attacks that people tend to do. Usually what happens is they'll deploy the hero, the giant bomb will go off, the... Defences are all start attacking and the hero will get depleted really fast and at that point the person knows just to move on. Um, this is actually a bit of an odd one, this one here. I wish I could replay it to you. The guy... Conventionally people would deploy everything at once and that would be the way to get the most gold. This guy was like deploying them one at a time. And the problem with doing it one at a time means all the defences are targeting the same minion at the same time. Which means you just don't get anywhere with it. Oops. Ok, 
Okay, time for the other base. So I've showed you my uh, troll one, I've showed you my farming one. The other one I've got to show you here is my defensive one. This one here kind of gives up your gold um, and other resources, but it's generally pretty good um, for defending you at the higher levels, where the troll based won't work as well. The thing is, between the lab before, let's, we'll say for the gold leagues, for all the gold leagues, pretty much everyone is just looking for resources. That's from my experience, don't take that as the absolute truth. Some people there will be going for trophies, but for the vast majority, people will be going for the gold and elixir. And sometimes even the dark elixir, um, although that's a lot harder to find at those lower levels. Um, when you hit the Crystal League, people are just like, no, don't care. People in the Crystal League either are trying to keep themselves in the Crystal League to get to Masters, to get the achievement, which is... Somewhere in here. There we go. That one there. Reach the Masters League. So a thousand, a thousand gems, yeah. And, and um, that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? I mean, I can't really think of any reason anyone would want to say no to that, just for the sake of winning a few battles here and there. Um, yeah. I'll just show you some of my war bases as well. These are generally um, older designs of mine that I haven't updated. Quite a lot of these are from Town Hall 8. And it might not look like it, but I wasn't Town Hall 8 that long ago. Um, I've just been playing it quite a lot recently. Um, and when you play it quite frequently, it's pretty damn easy to get up fast. So that's... we showed you that one. Where's the other one? This one here. I think the only thing is that air. Ah, that's the Town Hall 8 one, okay. If you're looking for a Town Hall 8 one, this one actually lasted me a very long time before I had to change it. And of course the only reason I had to change it was because of all this new stuff I got. For those of you wondering how um, I'm recording at the moment, and why the quality is so good, which is unusual, I know. Um, I'm recording right now from my NVIDIA Shield tablet, so not only have I kind of been away for a while, but I've also gone and got some new hardware while I've been away, so is it worth the wait? I don't know, no, you guys can tell me. Currently... You can see evidence of my um, massive defences wins. 14 defences I've won, um, as opposed to only 4 attacks. That's not because I'm crap at attacks, I tend to win my attacks, although that one there at the top was absolutely shocking. Um, there's a few in there that are just kind of pissing about. Uh, yeah, so there we have it. Right now, my clan is as follows, Brace Canyon. Um, we're a level 4, almost level 5 clan. If you want to join, give us a look. Um, otherwise, I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching, um, and I hope to see you again soon.